Hello world, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. And today's topic is a mysterious virus affecting children. Meet me on the other side. Hi everybody, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. I hope everybody had a wonderful and fabulous Easter and a blessed one at that. You know, I just figured I'm here in nature. Why not enjoy nature? Kono and I are here. Right, Kono? Every morning we try to enjoy a beautiful, beautiful morning because that sets us up with peace. But let me get to the topic here. Adenovirus, adenovirus is affecting children from one to six, could be a bit older. Now this is spreading. It's sort of like a, it's kind of like hepatitis, but it's not hepatitis A, B, C, D, or E. It's mysterious. It's a mysterious virus that is attacking young children. Now, this has been wide stream, by the way, from the UK to Europe to Ireland to, go ahead, Kona, enjoy yourself, to Ireland to every other place, even Alabama. So, you all have to pay attention to your children. If they're complaining about the stress, you've got to definitely not brush it off. Come on, Kona. Kona, come over here. Over here. Over here. Okay, girl. All right. <laughs> come here. Come here. I know you love me, and I love you, too. Okay. So, yeah, she is such, she just wants to be on camera, I think. So, anyway, um, this virus is pretty mysterious to everybody, and it's really, really, really taking hold. Even in Alabama, by the way, did I tell you that? So we expect this to head out over many, many states, many, many states. And <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I love you too, Kona, but I'm doing a film. Here, here sit down, sit down, <laughs> sit. So, so, <laughs> so, in any event, the, um, this is not something to play around with. Uh, there haven't been any deaths yet, but there have been multiple. And I, when I say multiple, more than two, nine or whatever it is, uh, liver transplants, every single person, every single child that has gotten this has gotten hospitalized and they are varying stages. And I'll tell you something, you know, this is something that the, this virus, particular virus is usually associated with a cold. So if you see, if your child's complaining about diarrhea or stomach cramps or any of those some malaise or any of that sort of stuff, please don't, don't take it too lightly. And by the way, I think only about two cases of these people were positive for COVID-19, these young children. So this is what happens. When you extract the human being from an environment, because every day in our environment, we come across many different pathogens. So our immune system is strong. It's used to dealing with and adapting to these multiple types of pathogens that come our way. But when you take people out of that environment, i.e. like all these lockdowns that you've had for the past two years, then the immune system is not coming into contact with these things in minimal ways to help it increase its immune response to things that might come that are more severe. So, you know, they did an experiment years and years ago, and they locked these scientists in a, in a, in a, a pristine environment and with no germs, no nothing. And they had to shut the program down because they found out that people in this experiment were getting sick. And they were getting sick because their immune systems were not being exposed to a multitude of different pathogens that could come their ways. When your body or your immune system doesn't have the ability to see these pathogens, to come in contact with pathogens, then the immune system becomes more vulnerable. This is why I try to tell everybody it's not about a band-aid approach. It's not about like, oh God, now I'm sick. Let me beef up my immune system. No, it's about you have an immune system. Now you have to do things to enhance that immune system. In other words, in essence, you're building immune system over an immune system so that when something hits it, it's taking away from that immune system that you've built and not the core immune system. Is that making any sense to anybody? Do you get that? So listen, you really have to pay attention to this. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how far this is going to reach, but there's certainly a crisis going on with this right now 
You may not have heard about it, but you will be hearing about it in the near future. And God forbid your child should get caught up in all of this. Or who knows, maybe adults. So the bottom line is, build your immune system now so that when something comes to attack you, it's attacking what you've built, not your core. Because that affects every single organ in your body. Think about this. These are kids from like one to six years of age and they're getting liver transplants already. They're being hospitalized. This has nothing to do with anything but the, uh, 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 this, uh, this virus and they can't isolate it and they can't say exactly where it's coming from or how it's happening. I guess we're gonna find that out months down the road and you know what that is, every day counts. Every day is like a ticking time bomb. So please everyone, be aware of this. Pay attention to your kids. If their behavior changes, if they're complaining about presenting certain symptoms, like I said, diarrhea, low abdominal pains, malaise, uh, uh, not feeling well, do not hesitate to take them somewhere to be looked at with your primary care physician because with a liver that has extreme disease, and this, believe it or not, this can happen very rapidly. So if that liver shuts down, it's, it's game over. And a lot of these kids, like I said, have already had to have liver transplants. And believe me, a liver transplant is no walk in the park and people say, oh, I just get a liver transplant. No, it's not that simple. Let me tell you something, your life will never be the same. The, the average, average expected lifespan of a liver transplant is about five years. And in those five years, you're dealing with every kind of rejection medication you can imagine so you're not living a normal life. So if your liver, is jeopardized now in your life from whatever your lifestyle has been or from whatever thing has hit your way. And I know a lot about the liver because I had this same thing happen to me with hep C, you know, in, in the, uh, in the early uh, 20s. So not, not 1920s, but 20, 22, 23, you know, that, uh, not 23. <laughs> oh God, help me. You know, 2000 on, but listen, the best way to do that is you're not going to get it from all the nutrition because you're not going to be able to eat enough food. You need very specialized things that you put into your body to help build your immune system. I just happen to have that because I take it every single day. I developed it when I had a liver issue. I was an end stage uh, uh, liver disease and I never drank or any of that sort of stuff. It was from hep C. Of course, I'm cured now, but every single day I still take my what's now called Benefits, a uh, whole body nutrition shake. It's not a protein shake. It's an immune builder and stabilizer and not an immune, immune booster. You wanna build an immune system. You just don't wanna boost it up and then have it come back down. So listen, everybody, tomorrow or the next day, either Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll be doing something else about the hidden danger, health risk at the big box stores. And you don't wanna miss this one. So this is Rick Nappy saying, have a great Monday, enjoy yourself, pay attention, and please don't take this lightly. And people in Alabama, this, this uh, issue is growing and growing and growing. So please don't ignore what I'm saying to you. I don't care whether or not you get some benefits and put it in your body or give it to your kid or not, but do something to build up your immune system and do it now. Because building an immune system is not about waking up one morning and go, oh God, I think I, think I need to you know, build up my immune system. No, you start when you're healthy. That's the best shot you got. And then you're gonna make all those organs strong and you're gonna be much happier in the end with the end result because you'll not only have more energy, you'll have better digestion, you'll sleep better, you'll think better. So many benefits come to that when you have an immune system that's functioning properly. All right, everybody, God bless you, God bless America, God bless nature, God bless your health and your children, and God bless everything we know and love about our flag. All right, everybody, have a great day. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this morning. How about you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to enjoy your day? Because you know what? Joy and laughter and peace and calm does wonders for the immune system. Oh, <laughs> you may laugh, I may laugh, but laughter is good. So I hope I made you laugh a little bit. I hope I gave you some information and I want you to take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video. Maybe Connor will join us. All right, bye-bye everybody.